Hey guys, welcome to 2017 and to start the year off, we thought we'd do something different. I want to introduce you to the very first spoken word cipher. So I brought together a couple of my friends and social reformers. I want to introduce you to Coyote. You already know Lewis Howe and Princess Latifah. Lewis, what you got for us? What you got for us, Lewis? Yeah, man. What you got for us, man? <laughs> Cut the long thing and let me talk to every single rapper in the UK. First of all, I'm loving the movement, so let me applaud that right away. But I have a few important things that I'd like to share with you today, so I beg that you listen to the words I'm about to say. To name a few, we've got people like Section, 67, Hustack and Storms, AJ, Fecky and the Landlord, Seabiz, Nines, Kreps, Combs, Big Tobes, Cadet, Bugsy Malone. You know guns and knives are a problem, but yet you still glorify. Then when your brethren gets killed, you want to go on like you're mortified. So whilst you're buying all these nice clothes so that you can look sort of fly and stunting like some baller guy, your gangster addiction is causing friction, kind of like a man whose balls are dry. But, but don't flip and laugh at the line I just said, because this is a serious situation that needs to enter all your heads. Because in the same way that one and one makes two and purple comes from red and blue, your lyrics and your actions are causing people's youth to dead. And you know what it is that hurts me the most? Is that many of you are smart and intelligent and can say something relevant, but instead choose to add to our problems instead of our betterment. See, this victim mentality is like you embrace it quite happily, but it's your choice if you decide to lower the rate of mortality. Now, it's not easy because I know that some people ain't believed in you. We live in a system that's designed to deprive instead of feeding you, so in many ways, I can understand why your lifestyle might be hard to leave it too. But cuz, if you're down to flip the script, then I'm here and I'll bleed for you. But don't take my act of kindness for weakness, because I'm serious about reforming shit, so man, them better deep this. Get in the way of my positive change and I guarantee to end the career today. I don't play. <laughs> now, most of you will hear that and think, bro, who's this guy? Does he think he's hard? And to be honest, yeah, I do, but then I don't, because I ain't trying to be a star. That's why you won't ever see me stunting with no flashy car. I prefer to educate my people. Hey, Kesh, call a Carla. Let's run these men a seminar. <laughs> what does it mean to be a man? Because I know what we're taught, but not what we are. I know I've been taught that it's weak if I see a grown man cry. If he goes on a date, he has to be the one who will buy. If he takes an exam, he has to win, but pretend he never tried. If he watches porn, but when asked, will tell you a lie. The kind of man who defines a good woman by the size of her breasts, who boasts with his mates about his sexual conquests. As he walks down the street and puffs out his chest, even if he feels alone, and especially if he's stressed. I hear it. Do you? The message is loud and clear. Don't be a pussy. In this community, attractive women are thin, white, feminine and young. But what if you're dark and black, or you're a 52 year old with wrinkles, or a teenager with pimples, because only 18% of cover girls are not white. But you don't see that image promoted, because there's an entire beauty industry that profits from us trying to stay young. So it becomes this game of whose outfit is the tightest, whose ass is the nicest, because that's where all the headlines and attention will go. I'm tired, I'm tired of living in a post-truth world, where sad isn't sexy and real is rare, where women are harassed for the things that they wear, where a man thinks she's his because of the ring that she wears, where she can't even walk down the street because of the whistles and the stairs. Meanwhile, we down shots for props and put our empty bottles on show, so you can say what you want, but you'll reap what you sow, like trophies displayed to validate your escapades that you proudly behold. Diageo, the company that owns most of these drinks, you'll never guess who they support, implored the government to make deeper cuts, a policy that we were never in favor of, but you still empower them as they make a buck off every single shot that you pour. The media points a finger, stamps a label on our heads, while they were putting money in the bank accounts of Mr. Nick Clegg, Meanwhile, we're treated like donkeys with the debts and taxes they've saddled us with while we're being whipped into chasing their carrot stick. See, the more that you crave, the greater your suffering is. So let's be real. When you are buying the cheapest bottle of champagne in the club, then take pictures for your Insta like you're some stud. Tell me really, who is the G and who is the silly mug? All right, man, I get it. Growing up weren't easy, it was very tough. At school, throwing coins against the wall just to try and get a penny up. Yes, at times, we were very broke. 
But in 2016, certain guys were still very stuck. Because what they don't realise is that to change your situation, you have to change your mind first. We you still have man them rapping and talking about putting in knife work. End up locked up right in jail with the lifers. Or worse, getting treated in the hospital bed by that night nurse. But they say that every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. No matter how bad or wicked, we're to future. So if you made mistakes in your past, then that's okay. Because even a broken clock gets a chance to be right twice a day. And I don't really care if you like me. I'm making noise out here. I ain't going out quietly. K.O.D. I was born in the 90s. I'm just trying to tell you the pain that's inside me. But a couple weeks back, I saw a show called Back Chat. No talking, it's just pure back chat. No debating, it's just pure back chat. They were on a rating, but I don't really understand that. Because the problem is, we don't listen to understand. We just listen to respond. So let me tell you why I think that is wrong. Because if you don't take time to try to understand the other side, it's no wonder why we have beef when we try to correspond. It's not a good look, but word to DeMarco, I've got a good book that can give you all the answers. In fact, it's called Questions Are The Answers. No back chat, because questions are the answers. I'm going to pass it to Keshulu or Lats because I know they got the answers. I hate that. I hate that we live in a world where we have to tell our kids not to talk to strangers. There's more dirty looks than smile exchanges. We walk past each other without saying hello when how are you and good morning are painless. We bump into each other without saying sorry and we even spit and litter on the street totally shameless. We don't have a pound for the homeless but we give thousands to the already rich and famous. A lot of us make all of this money just to stunt instead of help. Totally shallow and aimless. Somebody could be crying at the bus stop but people just stare heartless and vainless and forgetting your purse or your phone on the train isn't just a little fixable mistake, it's clumsy and brainless because you're almost definitely never going to see it again and sometimes even with a witness, a murderer can get away unidentified and nameless, bystanders, totally blameless and on a hot sunny day, leaving your front door open welcomes all kinds of dangers and your window no that's a window of opportunity for someone to make your belongings no longer remain and poor her walking home late at night isn't just stupid it's brave and courageous because there are men out there that want to sabotage us instead of save us torture rape hate is outrageous what's happened to the world a man said to me he was happier and freer when he was in jail. Same sort of shit, different cages. Tupac will be gutted to know that there's still no changes. We've got to heal our world if we want to keep it for ages. We've got to love man, because what? Love is so good. Love is so good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Someone stuck it on me the other day saying I don't know a lot about politics. And to be honest, they're probably right, so I'll take that L and I'll swallow it. So for those of you that do, I hope and pray that you follow this. And for those of you that don't, I'll start by saying apologies. Because <laughs> see, presidents and prime ministers are supposed to be leaders of our country, bettering our society and improving life quality. <laughs> but that's kind of up for debate if you look at the state of our economy. Because see, a previous leader of the UK got caught slipping with his taxes and named as Dodgy Dave. But when asked about this, he managed to put the stats about BME young people going to university and prison at centre stage. So how can we trust someone who diverts us from the truth and covers up all this bag of wrong? I saw Dave transform into David every time they put the camera on. Then you had the Labour leader who went by the name of Tony, who nobody believed in, so they labelled him a phony. Well, that's the result when you talk a load of shit nobody don't want to hear. No wonder why they wanted to rename him blah blah blah. And the next one I'll name, I don't know if he's better or worse still, because Winston's name only comes up when we talk about war, so can we really rape Churchill? <laughs> And it's hard because I want to speak highly of these guys but they don't do themselves any favours. To be honest, what John swept under the rug was actually kind of major. But anyway, let's take a trip across the pond where Trump's just become president and I'm far from fond. He took over from a great man, husband and father. He weren't perfect but I pay respects to Barack Obama. He took over from a man who when he saw the button for bombs he was quick to push. George didn't even know the difference between import and export like he grew up in a bush. And what can you do for your country is what he would be telling me. If I grew up in the era of man like John F. Kennedy. And the last one is Abraham, who I'm told was quite wise in his thinking. Kind of like that friend who makes all the plans and tells us where we should be linking. But don't get it twisted, this western ship is sinking. And the east is taking over and their power is brinking. And people say to me, oh it can all change if we just change our thinking. But that's only the start, because you still have to do something, king.
Isn't it funny? That there's a guy on the street right now with no food in his tummy. So he's sitting on the roadside asking for money. But people walk past and just say that he's bummy. But they don't know his past, they could have just been unlucky. Isn't it funny? That there's a young girl right now with a baby in her tummy who's now got the term baby mum but she's more than a baby mummy even if she got knocked up by a next donny she works hard so she still gets respect from me she should never have to think oh what's wrong with me but isn't it mad that this man on horseback with dogs to attack some cute little foxes just chilling in their batch but if these men came ends and a man them were to attack on bikes instead of horses they wouldn't like that so leave the foxes but isn't it strange that we look elsewhere to see who's to blame But never in a mirror to simmer the change Instead always complain, things are staying the same Use your voice, have your say, don't just stay in your lane Every time we feel pain, we lash out with more hate We hold on to it like it's precious And the cycle is ingrained into fate Sorrow comes from the truth you are weeping for And real love appears when you realise Inside is the real war all people need someone to look up to, but people are only projections of the fixed images we set, a memory or idea captured from a static moment in time, until it's safe to say you made a box, it's all nice and neat. The only constant in life though, is that there will be defeats. Our mental images expire in the moment we arrange them, so eyesight you have, but not always a clear vision. You already know. You are the one that you need. Stop looking outside for this hero to inject into you more belief. Because when the chips are down, you are the one who must lead. It's agreed, you will bleed and you'll stumble and you'll scream. You'll beg, you'll plead for the love outside that you're convinced that you need. See, the only drama is the suffering that you have practiced. The ancient told text taught me one clear thing. That real self-love is a habit, a mindset to be adapted, a way of living to be practiced. And the only real way is to put your images in a casket. See, most people are out looking for blessings from above. But I think salvation is simple. It's warm cuddles with the one. Yes. You don't fall. <laughs> you stand in love. So when I speak of loving, I speak of what I've promised. See, love isn't just a statement. It's a promise. Let's be honest. From one tiny acorn is coming a thousand mighty forests. In this brave new world, it's important we become the heroes that we seek. So I'm just out here trying to be the lessons I want to teach. Wealth grows where men exert energy. The difference that we see exists only at the peripheries. So at the center of every being is where you will find unity. For her, walking home late at night isn't just stupid, it's it's mad because at school i used to get banned to speak now at schools i get paid over a band to speak i swear down this used to be a fantasy now kod i'm turning out to be the man you see girls when you're looking for that man you see the man to turn dreams to reality understand things ain't always how they plan to be love yourself there isn't really a man you need but I'm so confused, it's peak. Kalisha told me to brush my teeth, but Stormzy told me that it's not that deep. I'm trying to make a meal like Meek off of every single word that I speak. <laughs> I'm trying to make a meal like Meek off of every single word I speak. Grinding all days of the week because I know what I sow, I reap. Hey. Yes, I yes. Hey. I ain't reap what you sow, my brother. Come on, we're out here, man. We're out here, innit? Come on.